Okay, now this is, um, well, a few topics, I suppose, but all related, uh, mostly because of being related to the retail market. Now, um, a number of you are probably not involved in the retail market, uh, at least not from your perspective, but um, these uh, types of companies that are, um, are providing us with an opportunity to examine some issues that are related to pretty much everybody who's working in information technology right now. And in particular, this is in regard to security. Um, now, the, the three areas uh, that I want to look at are uh, apps, um, social media, and um, uh, Internet of Things, IoT. Um, those uh, areas, uh, some of you may think it's, it's one area, some uh, may think they're related areas that uh, should be addressed. Um, I think we can uh, deal with the most important concepts uh, with regard to these uh, topics. Um, so, uh, we've got, uh, you know, a lot of apps. Now a lot of the apps are, in fact, um, involved with social media. They are uh, just the front end for social media, and they are... Um, uh, you know, so you, you may think, you know, this is, this is one thing. But there, there are uh, some aspects of, you know, popular apps um, that really don't tie into um, a back-end server or um, into uh, socializing per se. Um, then, of course, there are, you know, social media platforms um, that are uh, being done all the time they're being created um and and of course there are ongoing fights as to you know who is taking over the social media space there are uh some social media systems that are trying to specialize in different areas there are others um that are trying to take over the entire social space it's um <sighs> you know it's it's complicated but um it's all of a piece. And um, there is, of course, the, the Internet of Things, and there are many, many things that are being connected to the Internet uh, that uh, should never uh, have been connected. There are a number of, uh, well, shall we say, sexual-related devices. Um, but my uh, favorite in terms of uh, actually seeing where the problem lies is a sniper rifle, actually a scope for a sniper rifle um, that uh, the company actually warns you uh, you should not use while it is connected to the internet. But, um, in you know, it has that capability and there is nothing that automatically shuts off that capability when you uh, are actually firing the rifle. So, um, you know, it's just, it sounds like a really dumb idea to me, and I don't know why uh, nobody else is considering that not a really dumb idea. Anyways, with all of these, um, a huge problem uh, related to all of these areas is time to market. Everybody is so busy trying to get their uh, device, their app, their uh, social media platform out into the market and uh, be the first with the most, um, in, including uh, functions as a, a primary activity rather than um, any kind of security. I mean, it's just... Security is definitely uh, an afterthought because security is uh, takes consideration, careful consideration, and these people don't think they have time. 
as I stated back when we were talking about application development, if you do the development properly, if you if you properly refine your idea, and that you know includes considerations of security, that um, provides you with a lot more uh, stability um, in producing an actually useful uh, system. You know, going back to Staff's uh, definition that a, a secure system is one that does what it's supposed to do. Um, yes, uh, we will, in fact, get a better a better product faster than if we just you know <laughs> release code as soon as it starts to work. Um, anyway, uh, so you know everybody is is uh, rushing to market. They're, they're adding functions. They are changing the code. They are not um, performing the security testing that they should be doing in, in this rush in all three of those areas uh, to get into the market first. And, you know, we, we just see examples of this over and over again. Um, it creates problems for uh, the users, it creates problems eventually for the company. Um, and, you know, it, it should not be pursued in this way. Um, now, these are, you know, comes in here in, in networking applications because, I mean, you know, these days the, the network is the computer. Um, so we're doing things in the cloud. We're doing uh, you know, social media platforms with connected apps. Um, social media platforms that are connecting to our connected devices uh, so that we have social media platforms um, uh, seeing themselves as, as managing all of the IoT devices and, um, you know, everything that goes along with that. Uh, and particularly the, the companies that are seeing themselves as all things to all people and therefore they, they have to uh, include and, and tie themselves into this control over devices so that... Um, their uh, their overall platform is seen as a one-stop shop that you don't need to go to anybody else. You don't need to learn anything else. You you know can deal with them, with their platform, and they will deal with everything else. And uh, you know because of that, they are rushing to uh, connect themselves to. Um, uh, devices, situations, functions, in order to uh, be all things to all people and, and uh, prove that they are, you know, the, the one-stop shop that you need to do and you don't need anything else. And the fact that in, in that rush, uh, they are failing to deal properly with security. Well, the results are probably pretty obvious. So, um... You know, all of those areas, um, you know, it's it's the rush, it's the lack of care, um, it's opening uh, situations um, that create security problems, uh, build on other security problems. We get layers of insecurity piled on top of each other. Uh, apps that are insecure fronting uh, social media platforms that are insecure. Uh, connecting to and controlling uh, devices that are insecure. And speaking of controlling devices, uh, we're going to get into SCADA uh, next time.